in the volatile Renzururu sub-region. In the document, they implore the president to forgive them for their transgressions. The confessions were witnessed by members of the Renzururu royal family, led by the Omsinga's mother, Christine Bida Mukirania. Agnes Itungu Mumbere, the wife to the king, his two brothers William and Christopher Chibazanga. However, a section of leaders from the area want those who confessed to face the law. That is the president has got to those who have confused, who have been confusing the whole kingdom, the royal family, the king himself, and the youth in the Renzo. Why can't the law deal with them? Anybody would say these are the people who are confusing the Omsinka. A constitutional lawyer and Ndora East MP Wilfred Nwagaba says it's baffling why the DPP has not taken action against those who confessed to participating in the crime. Article 120 1D of the Constitution reads, to discontinue at any stage before judgment is delivered any criminal proceedings to which this article relates, instituted by himself or herself, or any other person or authority except that the director of public prosecutions shall not discontinue any proceedings commenced by another person or authority except with the consent of the court. In the same vein, Article 126 of the Constitution reads, in the exercise of the functions conferred on him or her by this article, the director of public prosecutions shall not be subject to the direction or control of any person or authority. He should have already now taken interest in those individuals to pursue them to, for purposes of prostitution. If they are the ones responsible for the name in the cases, then he should have pursued them. Nwagaba says such confessions are irregular and not admissible as evidence in courts of law. The confession is in the law that can be used in the court must be taken before uh, either a magistrate or a police officer above the rank of uh, assistant, exactly. And uh, none of those officers appears on that statement. He said the meeting between the president only sought to present the president as a peace advocate rather than a war hawk. You can see that it was framed for individuals to append their signatures. And what is surprising, some of the signatories to that document actually thumb marked, meaning they don't even understand the language in which the statement was written. On Friday, the Renzururu King Charles Wesley Mumbere was rearrested purportedly on the criminal offences on Friday outside the Ginger High Court shortly after being released on bail. <laughs> Former Prime Minister Mama Mbabazi has advised Ugandans to put politics aside and focus on agriculture because politics is not profitable much as it's important. Mbabazi, who contested against President Yoram Seven in the last year's general election, was visiting his former campaign agent, Charles Karangwa, at Namkono village in Buikwe district. After scoring a dismal 1% and losing an election petition against the incumbent, Babazi has since kept a low profile. Babazi denied allegations that he's been holding secret meetings with President Hiwet Seveni. This afternoon, regions of youth and women of Namukono village in Iwikwe district celebrated the visit of former Prime Minister Mama Babazi. <laughs> Babazi and his wife Jackie Babazi were visiting Charles Karangwa, a youth and a former campaigning agent who is a farmer. Speaking to the locals here, Babazi advised them to put politics aside and focus on agriculture because politics is not profitable and a permanent job. So I have not been uh, making political statements or um, generally I've not been in the public because the point I made to the people here is that doing politics all the time, there is no gain. So yes, politics is very important because without good politics, nothing can happen, nothing positive can happen, a lot of negative things, in fact. 